This video is on identities. Now here I have 6a minus 15 is identical to 3 times 2a minus 5. Now the things about identities is that I can have any number for a. So let's say for example I have 2 here. I'm going to have 6 times 2 which is 12. Take away 15 is minus 3. And if I have 2 here I should get exactly the same thing. So 2 times, th uh, two, times 2 is 4. Take away 5 is minus 1. 3 times minus 1 is minus 3. Now, I can have any number in A actually, and it will always be the same on both sides. So let's try a different number. Let's try 5 here. So 6 times 5 is 30. Take away 15 is 15. 2 times 5 is 10. Take away 5 is 5. And 3 times 5 is 15. Also, another thing about identities is that we can't solve them. Let me just multiply out the right hand side. 6a minus 15 and this is identical to 6a minus 15 now you can't solve identities if I try to collect the a's together on one side and the numbers on the other side what I will be left with is 0 is equal to 0 so this is what the this is how the identities work now I have a different one here now you will notice that if I was to complete the square of this this is the result now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to multiply out this right hand side. So I'm just going to say right hand side is equal to 2 and then x minus 3 times x minus 3 and take away 2. And I'm going to multiply it out now. So 2 times x squared and I'm going to have minus 6x plus 9 minus 2. And then if I multiply that out I'm going to have 2x squared minus 12x plus 18 minus 2 and then this is equal to 2x squared minus 12x plus 16 now you can see that this here is exactly the same as that and this is the reason why it's an identity so I'm just gonna write it as an identity again 2x squared minus 12x plus 16. Now what we need to notice here that this 2 in front of the x squared is always going to be the same on this side as well. This this number in front of the x squared has to be a 2 because that's the 2. This minus 12 is always going to be the minus 12 here and this 16 is always going to be 16. So these corresponding values need to be the same. So this 2 here and this 2 need to be the same. This minus 12 and the minus 12, this needs to be the same. And the 16 and the 16 needs to be the same. So what I'm saying is the coefficient of x squared is going to be always the same on both sides. The coefficient of x, which is the number in front of the x, is always going to be the same on both sides. And this constant here is always going to be the same. Now, let's look at this question. So it says, work out the values. So work out the values of a, b and c such that 3x squared plus bx plus 4 is identical to a times x plus 2 squared plus c. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work with the right hand side. So the right hand side is here. I'm just going to work with that. I'm going to multiply it out and then go from there. So I have the right hand side is equal to a times x plus 2 times x plus 2 and then plus c and I'm going to multiply out the two brackets here so I'm going to have a times x squared plus 4x and plus 4 and plus c there now I'm going to multiply out the a with all of this so I'm going to have ax squared plus 4ax plus 4a plus c. Now remember we said that this was an identity so I've just multiplied out this right hand side and this is my result. Now this is identical to all of this so I'm going to write that now so I'm going to say this is identical to 3x squared plus bx plus 4. Okay, now, like last time, 
the coefficient of x squared has to be the same on both sides. Now, the only place I have x squared on this side is here. And this is not an x squared, this is not x squared. And the only place I have x squared is here. So this 3 and this a needs to be the same. So I know a is equal to 3. So let's write that. So a is equal to 3. Now I know the coefficient of x on both sides needs to be the same. So I've got an x there. And this 4a must be equal to that b. So I have b is equal to 4a. Now I know what a is already because I have it here. a is equal to 3. So I'm just going to work out b now. So b must be equal to 4 times 3. So b is equal to 12. So I have a and I have b now. Now this 4 needs to be equal to 4a plus c because this is my constant. So let's show that here. So this 4 needs to be equal to 4a plus c there. So I'm going to say 4 is equal to 4a plus c. Now again, I know what a is. a is equal to 3. So I'm just going to use that and solve it. So 4 is equal to 4 times 3 plus c. And this simplifies to 4 equals 12 plus c. And therefore, my c is equal to, if I take away 12 on both sides, I'm going to have 4 take away 12 is minus 8. So c is equal to minus 8. So my answers are, I found a, which is equal to 3. I found b, which is equal to 12. And I found c, which is equal to minus 8. Now here are some questions for you to try, so answer these questions. What you need to do is find the values of A, B and C here, A, B and C here, and P and Q here. So find those values and bring that to the lesson.